So a lot of you wanted to know what I have in my luggage when I go traveling. So as you know, I'm going to Paris for 10 days. This time I'm allowed to take 23 kilograms. Um, when flying to Paris, from Paris, I'll be allowed to have only 15. So I'll have to take some things out, put on myself or uh, put in a carry-on. So this is my luggage. It's just a red... Oh, cannot lift it. It's just a red Samsonite luggage. I got it for my birthday, I think last year or two years ago. And yeah, I love it. It's a bit dirty actually because I've been traveling quite a bit and it's way too heavy. So only men in my family are able, and my boyfriend of course, are able to carry it. But I'm not gonna talk about the luggage. It's just all about the packing. I packed really compactly this time. My luggage weighs 18 kilograms now, which, you know, I can still have five extra. Okay, so this is what it all looks like. It's really jam-packed. But, you know, I'm a bit of a fashionista. I like to dress differently every day and just have lots of options. So in this kind of pocket thingy here, I have my Longchamp bag. I think it's a... Uh, I'm not sure whether it's medium or large, I think it's medium and it's a great carry-on bag so whenever I have overweight luggage I always um, put it inside my long champ, like my laptop, my camera and all of that jazz and it's great because it's foldable. I also have mango um, canvas like shopping bag, it, actually it's in another room now because I'm using it but it's great for grocery shopping or just again if you need an extra bag to put your stuff in and a bit I'm a bit of a hygiene freak and so is my boyfriend so I always take these kind of hotel style slippers navy pair for him and a cream pair for me I got these at um, Ike supermarket if you're wondering then up here I have my new H&M handbag. It's just a great alternative, you know, I'm taking one bag and if I don't want to carry lots of stuff, I'm gonna have a shoulder bag. So half of the luggage is clothing, so I'm not gonna go through everything, I don't think. So it's basically all of the new things I showed you guys in my recent haul video, like t-shirts, shorts, my pleather white skirt, stripy top, cream trousers, my new jeans, basically I'm taking it all. Um, okay, some more clothing. I really don't know what I'll wear. It should be over 20, 22, 23 in Paris. So I have spaghetti strap tops. I have another tank top. I have my lacy skirt, some floral patterned shorts. Denim shorts, another pair of denim shorts um, that are ripped. I have my silky red uh, jumpsuit. I'm not sure if I'll wear it, but oh well, if I want to look a bit more dressy, this is kind of a silky top as well for dressy evenings. I have my uh, leather, not leather, but like vaxi coated uh, trousers, and I have this white knitted long cardigan with. Actually, it's a coat again, so it acts as a coat. I'm taking two dresses, my H&M palm print dress and this maxi Zara dress. Maybe I'll get a chance to wear them. And then I'm taking like long sleeve tops, but that are not sweaters. This is my just gray Massimo top. And wow, I really took so many clothes. That's insane. Cream colored Zara jumper I recently got and my pink cashmere jumper. So moving on, here I have my Babyliss uh, rotating like brush, hair dryer type of thingy. And um, I keep most of the stuff in dust bags because I think it's it looks way neater. This dust bag came with a Babyliss curling wand. And then here I have my espadrilles and they're just these white espadrilles I showed you guys from Bershka I got last year. Um, here I have all of my makeup, I'm not gonna show it to you now. And then in the Zara dust bag, I have all of my shoes. So the shoes I'm taking with me are all of the new shoes, just three pairs. Zara sandals, Stradivarius white sandals and scalloped edge ballerinas. Here I have all of my lingerie, I know it's a bit excessive, I'm gonna show you that obviously. Here I have some my phone charger. And here in this dust bag I have 
basically all that kind of jazz. This is H&M um, lacy kind of romper for sleeping. Some, yes, yeah, I said some socks, a body, and then another silk H&M romper. So yeah, that's that. And then here, this is the heaviest thingy in my luggage. Um, this, I think it's like a, it's called a train case or something. I got it a few years ago as a present from my mom and it's great because it matches my luggage. And I want it to be a little bit more organized. I like knowing where everything is and keeping stuff in, in place. Inside this bag I have three other bags. I know it's crazy. Uh, who really does that, right? But I decided to do it this time. So here I have this little Massimo Dutti like, jewelry box. And I have all of my jewelry that I'm gonna be wearing. This is just a statement necklace. I gotta put it here, this chunky necklace. And then here is all of my delicate jewelry. And I also have this cuff, which doesn't fit in the box. And here I have a, an extra pair of sunglasses. These are just white um, cat eye sunglasses from Mango. Got it a few years ago. I have my Desada um, detangling hairbrush. So in this little bag here, I got it last year from Mango. So here I have my Venus shaver, my Latouille tweezers. I have like extra samples like body lotion in case I need it. Like, Poor cleansing strips, I think I might use those with my boyfriend. Some shower gels, plasters, shower cap. These are great for if you have blisters on your feet. These are kind of healing um, feet plasters. Razor head, that's it. And then in this bag, I have all of my skincare. So I have cotton pads, tea tree, cleansing lotion, not cleansing, um, moisturizing lotion, blem anti blemish from Body Shop, uh, peel off cucumber mask, um, have some q tips, my Body Shop aloe creams. Um, I don't think I'll go through all of my skincare, it's, it's gonna take too long. Um, but I, I would recommend this to you guys, this, if I could recommend one thing. This is Biotherm Moisturizer for using on the plane. I, you can get it at Duty Free. And I only use it when traveling, so it's lasted me a long time. And it's the best on-flight moisturizer. It really keeps your skin so hydrated and glowy, so I love it. And then here, this is actually the heaviest bit. Oh my god, it's so heavy. I got this toiletry bag from my cousin as a present. I think you can get it in Cosmada shops. So here I have lots of stuff. Panty liners. Um, I have Kerastase Elixir Ultim Oil. The Elixir Ultim itself. Elisab um, Le Parfum. I'm taking full-size bottle. I know it's crazy, but my uh, travel was filled with Tom Ford's Black Orchid perfume. So... I don't, I, I really need to buy an extra Traveler because this is heavy. Um, this is amazing. It's Shawl Refreshing Crackling Ice Foot Gel. This is the best thing ever for tired feet. If you are walking a lot or if your shoes are uncomfortable, just spray this on in, at the end of the day when you just remove your shoes. And it's cooling, crackling, and it feels like a foot relief. It feels like all of the pain and tiredness is gone from your feet it's amazing you can get it in pharmacies i took my garnier honey shampoo and conditioner these are so heavy i should have taken like lighter products but i know i'll leave these in paris to my boyfriend i'll give these away to him so i'm not gonna bring them back with me this is just massage oil it's not hoshka product um these are isana Nail polish remover pads that are already soaked in nail polish remover, my Nivea deodorant, nail buffer, I have some nail polishes, um, Rimmel Urban Purple, this is Mavala Paris, which I got in Paris last time, it's like a bright corally red, very eye-catching and beautiful, this is Peach Neglige from L'Oreal, my OPI top coat, um, Nux Ul uh, Prodiges. This is just um, dry body oil. If I'm gonna be wearing shorts, this this is great on the legs. 
This is Cora's Basil and Lemon Travel Shower Gel. And then I have a nail stick. And that's it. That's everything that's in my luggage. I made such a mess. Oh, I'm gonna have to pack everything back into my luggage. Thank you guys. <laughs> I really hope this video was helpful and maybe gave you ideas as to what to pack. I also have my bag loaded with stuff that I'm not gonna go through that. I'm taking my laptop, my camera in, in uh, my carry-on bag with me. So yeah, that's about it. That's everything I would take with me for a 10-day trip. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.